What's up everyone, Justin here, back with the NFL predictions, NFL picks, video for week 9. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is a little bit sore, so uh, I'm not going to be getting excited and yelling. But uh, there's a lot of NFL news, not just... I'm not going to just give you uh, all my predictions for every game, but there's a lot of fucking NFL news, good and bad. Uh, first off, the big news, breaking news, Aaron Rodgers is out of Sunday afternoon's game in Kansas City because he has COVID. He's tested positive. I love Aaron Rodgers. The guy's the best fucking, uh, the best QB Green Bay has ever had in their history. Love Brett Favre. He was great, but not as good as Rodgers. I love Aaron Rodgers. I don't understand why he did not get vaccinated. That's up to him. The guy's a moron. For not getting vaccinated. He's a fucking moron. To not be vaccinated. But. Devonta Adams was uh, vaccinated. He tested positive. So you can still be vaccinated. And test positive. I I'm not a doctor. I don't understand how. You can be positive. When you're vaccinated. I don't get it. But you can be. That's a fact. The good thing is, yes, you can test positive still and not have any symptoms or you can feel a little sick. The good thing is you won't end up dead six feet under. So get fucking vaccinated if you're not already. Uh, he could have been vaccinated. Yes, he's been, he was at a Halloween party without a mask around other people guys real close to them or other teammates and I don't know I don't I don't blame him for that I'm not gonna rip him for that for not wearing a mask every damn day yeah he was kind of risking getting COVID but that's what he did again he was a moron he should have got vaccinated I hope he isn't, uh, from testing positive, I hope he's not really sick and feeling very ill. I don't know if he is. The guy's a professional athlete in great shape. I don't know how sick he is. But I've seen a lot of guys. I saw a guy that's a bodybuilder actually got super sick from COVID and almost died. And he was in shape. He was a bodybuilder. And other guys that have... I don't know why this fucking light is uh, flickering. Stupid light decides to just flicker like there's a ghost in this room. It's uh, pretty fucking annoying. Sometimes it flickers and then it doesn't for days. Again, maybe my room is haunted by a ghost. I don't know. All I gotta say is it sucks. Aaron Rodgers is out against the Chiefs. Maybe we could have really... If we had them playing, we probably would have won. Again, I apologize for the flickering uh, strobe light that apparently a ghost is making flicker. If the light bulb's about to go out, just fucking go out already. I don't know why it won't go out. It just flickers. Just die already, stupid light bulb. Again, my room must be haunted. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, it sucks. Aaron Rodgers is out. It's okay if we don't win Sunday against the Chiefs. I want to win. I want to go to 8-1. and one. I want the Packers to be 8-1, and one, but it's okay if we're 7-2. and two, It's okay. At least we defeated the Cardinals in the NFC. And we're going to win the NFC North for sure. I would put money down on that. So uh, get well, Aaron Rodgers. I hope you're back 
before the next game against the Seahawks because now you got to be in a 10-day quarantine by the NFL. If you're not vaccinated, they put you in a 10-day quarantine, I believe. And uh, why didn't the NFL do what the NBA did and say to all the players, if you want to play home games or if you want to play at home, you got to be vaccinated. Or tell all the damn players, you got to be vaccinated. If you want to play, if you want to get paid and play in the NFL, you got to be vaccinated. They should have told all the players that in uh, July or August. Again, the NBA or some certain uh, states for uh, NBA teams, some uh, states have said, if you're not vaccinated, you can't even play home games. That's why the dumbass moron Kyrie Irving is not playing because he refuses to get the vaccine. Fuck him. I'm not going to say fucking Rodgers because I love the guy. He's on my team. He's playing. He's been playing. He's been trying to get us wins. Even though he was not vaccinated, it was not against the NFL rules. If you're not vaccinated, they still let you play. If they would have told Rodgers, you got to be vaccinated to play, and he wouldn't get vaccinated, then I would rip him. But that wasn't the rules. So uh, get well, Aaron Rodgers. I hope you're back for the Seahawks game. And... Well, let me try something here. Give me a second. I'm going to try to put on a different light. So I'm back. Again, Aaron Rodgers is not playing. He has COVID. He's out. Uh, Jordan Love, show us what you got. This is your time to shine. Show us that you're ready to be a great uh, future NFL quarterback. I don't know if Jordan Love will ever be the starter for the Green Bay Packers. Who knows? Rodgers might stay next year and, like, for three more years. I don't fucking know. I don't want Rodgers to leave at all. The guy at, like, 39, 40 would probably be better than uh, Jordan Love could ever be. Again, I don't know how good Jordan Love will be until I see him in a full regular season game and this Sunday against the Chiefs I will get to see Jordan Love play his uh, first ever start so up first Thursday night football these are my NFL week nine predictions so uh yeah New York Jets at the Indianapolis Colts I don't know what's going on with uh Carson Wentz, I don't know if he's out, not playing this Sunday, or, or not playing Thursday, or what, but he uh, fucked up last Sunday and lost the Colts, a game, I, in my opinion. The Jets defeated the Bengals. That was shocking. And their quarterback was, I think his name's Mike White. He uh, He played with a lot of passion for the Jets. The Jets still are not good. They are not good. They're not as bad as the Dolphins, but they're not good. I'm going to say the Colts win. The Colts are at home. I don't think the Jets will win two weeks in a row. So my pick is the Colts on Thursday Night Football. So here are the Sunday games, Atlanta Falcons at New Orleans Saints. I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with New Orleans Saints. I'm really happy the Saints uh, defeated Tom Brady last week because that's good for the Packers to have the Buccaneers not have a better record than the Packers. So please everybody that's facing the Buccaneers defeat them. Because it will help my Packers get possibly home field advantage again. So, uh, yeah, New Orleans Saints win over Atlanta. Denver Broncos at the Dallas Cowboys. I believe Dak 
Prescott will be back as QB. Dallas Cowboys win. I don't think Denver's very good. They just traded away Von Miller to the Rams. I, that was dumb of them. Unless, I don't know, they thought they could not re-sign him. Maybe it was the last year of Von Miller's contract. I don't know. But Cowboys will definitely win. They're at home. And they got a pretty damn good team. So, uh, New England Patriots at Carolina Panthers. I'm going to go with New England Patriots. Minnesota Vikings at Baltimore Ravens. I laughed my fucking ass off when Minnesota lost to the Cowboys on Sunday night. That was beautiful. I hate the Vikings. Uh, Minnesota Vikings at Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to go with the Ravens. Uh, please run all over Minnesota, LaShawn Jackson. Or LaVar Jackson. I forget your first name. Uh, Cleveland Browns. Again, the Ravens will win. Cleveland Browns at Cincinnati Bengals. A battle for Ohio or whatever the hell that means. I don't know. If you're in Ohio, who's your favorite team? The Browns or the Bengals? The Browns, I doubt, make the playoffs. I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals win in Cincinnati and defeat the Browns. Buffalo Bills at Jacksonville Jaguars. This is easy. Uh, Buffalo Bills. Sorry, Tony Khan and your dad, but Jacksonville is not going to win more than four to five games. Uh, maybe four games. Anyways, uh, Houston Texans at Miami Dolphins. The battle of two of the worst teams in the NFL. Houston sucks. Miami sucks. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Las Vegas Raiders at New York Giants. You got a Vegas team having to go all the way to the East Coast and fly there. That's a long trip. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I think they're a better team also. I said breaking news. Aaron Rodgers has COVID. The other breaking news is one of the wide receivers for the Raiders. The guy got a DUI and was speeding 150 miles an hour. And uh, hit, a, hit another car, killed a woman, and killed her dog. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible news. If you're a fucking professional athlete, I don't know why on fucking earth you would not call a cab or an Uber if you were feeling drunk or high. Why, why fucking drive? Because you're spoiled and you got to drive yourself home. I, I don't understand that. But now the guy's life is ruined. He fucked. He fucked himself. He absolutely ruined his life. He's going to be locked up for a lot of years. I hope he gets more than, way more than five or ten years. He should get way like 25 years to life for what he did. Irresponsible as hell. So irresponsible. So ignorant. To do a DUI to drunk drive when you're fucking rich. When you're a professional athlete, why would you ever, ever want to drunk drive? I don't understand it, but I don't even drink. So I will never have the urge to get drunk and want to drive somewhere. And that's like a death wish. The guy was going 150 miles an hour and probably did not even see a car and smashed into her. Killed her. Killed her dog. I don't know why he didn't get killed. He could have been killed too. But uh, he's locked up. I forget his name. But he was a wide receiver on the Raiders. I think he was good. I don't know much about the guy, but he got a DUI, killed a woman, killed her dog. Now he's locked up. I don't think he'll get bailed out. 
I don't know what his bail is. I don't think maybe he doesn't have a bail for killing a person. Why would you get be able to be bailed out if you killed kill a person? You shouldn't be able to be bailed out and make uh, bail money or give up bail money. Anyways, that guy in the Raiders killed a woman, killed her dog. What a fucking moron. And uh, I hope he pays the consequences and gets 25 years to life. So the Raiders will defeat the Giants. Raiders have had a lot of drama. Uh, firing John Gruden for his fucking emails that were just insane. Insanely stupid emails that he felt like he had to send. That were racist talking against women and all this other shit. Homophobic. The guy's nuts. John Gruden needs help. I don't know how, what kind of help he should get, but he needs help. I don't think you can go to rehab and try to get rid of your uh, racist, sexist feelings. So, uh, again, I don't know if John Gruden's racist. I've never met the guy. I've never been around the guy. But his emails were fucking insane. He's insane. He uh, ruined his life by sending all those emails like a moron. So, uh, next game. Los Angeles uh, Chargers at... Philadelphia Eagles, a 305 game. I'm going to go with the, the, I don't know. I was going to go with the Chargers, but they're on the road. Maybe it won't be good weather in Philly on Sunday. I don't know. I'm going to go with uh, the LA Chargers in Philadelphia. More uh, three after three o'clock games. Uh, here we go. Green Bay Packers at Kansas City Chiefs. I believe they have Lazar back. That moron isn't vaccinated either, I don't believe. Devonta Adams will be back. He's the best receiver in the league. And I don't know if there'll be any other players back on defense. Packers have a lot of fucking injuries. It was so great they won in Arizona with all those injured players. Without them. Everybody stepped up. The running game was great. In, uh, let me talk about Arizona and the Packers for a little bit. The running game was awesome. A.J. Dillon, Aaron Jones is a great one-two punch they're great. They are awesome running backs. Uh, Dylan brings a power. He just fucking plows through people. He absolutely just knocks defensive players, knocks them on their ass. They can't tackle them. Aaron Jones has got the speed, got the quickness. He's one of the best running backs in the NFL. And I would say the Packers have probably three of the best players in the NFL at their positions. Aaron Rodgers, he's not playing this week. Sadly, against Chiefs, he has COVID. And he should get his ass uh, vaccinated. But Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks. Aaron Jones, one of the best running backs. Devonta Adams, one of the best wide receivers. And our defense is not that bad. A lot of so-called uh, experts on TV are... Always saying the defense is not good. I disagree. We shut down the Cardinals pretty damn good. So the defense is not that bad. And the defense will get healthier for the Packers. And then they'll be even better. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I, I, Aaron Rodgers, I guess, lied. I have ESPN on. There's a writing at the bottom of the screen. In August, he said he was immunized, whatever the hell that is. Never heard of that. He acts like he's vaccinated by saying he's immunized, whatever the fuck that is. But who knows? 
Oh, I want to know is Tom Brady vaccinated or Patrick Mahomes vaccinated? I don't know. It's none of. I really don't give a fuck if they are. If they want to uh, risk it and live and risk it like a have a death wish. You want to not be vaccinated and have a death wish. That's your prerogative, but you're a moron. I want to live. I love life. I love my life. And I love to live. And I want to keep living until I'm very old. But, uh, yeah, if you're not vaccinated, that's your prerogative, but you're a moron. So, uh, anyways... Green Bay at Kansas City. And I gotta say, so yeah, about, I think Rodgers lied in August, acted like he's vaccinated. He's not. And now uh, we might take a L because he's not playing in Kansas City. Jordan Love, this is your time, bro, to step up. Show uh, the Packers what you got. Show the Packer Nation what you got. Maybe you'll be great. Maybe you'll impress everybody. I don't know. If you look damn, damn good. Uh, the Packers GM, Brian Gouda Coast, whatever, however the hell you say his last name, maybe the Packers uh, management will be like, we got Jordan Love next year. He's going to be great, and they'll let Rodgers go. They should not. I hope they don't. But uh, who knows what the future holds if Rodgers will stay or if he will go. And I'm not confident that Jordan Love is going to end up being a great quarterback. I, I doubt it. I hope he uh, proves me wrong. And I hope he has a great game in Kansas City. At least he has uh, Lazar, Adams, and Jones to give the ball to. And uh, A.J. Dillon. So, uh, Packers, Kansas City. I think Kansas City is going to be fired up. I think their defense might eat up Jordan Love and get a ton of sacks on him. I don't know. I'm going to say Kansas City wins by three to seven points. And that hurts me to pick against the Packers, but that's what I feel. Without Aaron Rodgers, I'm going with the Kansas City Chiefs. By the way, Patrick Mahomes, the homeboy, he doesn't, he's not that good. His uh, first two years, yeah, he looked great. But he's overrated. In my opinion, Patrick Mahomes is not that great. When uh, both of their careers are over, I will say Aaron Rodgers will be looked at as a better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes. Again, the Chiefs will win. Arizona Cardinals at San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with, uh, I don't know. I'm going to go with the 49ers because they're at home. Sunday night football, Tennessee Titans at L.A. Rams should be good. Uh, sadly, the Titans lost Derrick Henry. Great running back for them. The guy was a beast. Damn good. Derrick Henry is out for the rest of the year. I believe he had foot surgery or something, or ankle surgery. Sadly on the Packers, a great tight end, Robert, Robert Tunyon, also is out for the year, torn ACL. That's the one thing I hate about football. Sometimes season-ending injuries can ruin the year for your team. But that's a sport. It's a violent sport where guys get injured a ton. And if you get to play all 17 games this year, you are lucky. And you dodged a bullet. So Tennessee at L.A. Rams. I'm going to go with the L.A. Rams. Again, I don't think Matthew Stafford is an MVP or that good. 
He's just playing better because he's in a winning system. Monday Night Football, Chicago Bears at Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. There are my Week 9 NFL picks. Pretty damn long video. I talked too long and too much, but I had to get out there. The Aaron Rodgers, breaking news. He's out with COVID. Raiders, wide receiver. I think his name was Ruggs the third. The guy got DUI and now he's locked up and probably locked up for the rest of his life. The fucking moron had to do a drunk driving, a DUI. And when he was up, got blood tested or did a breathalyzer, he was uh, twice the legal limit, twice over the limit of alcohol that you have in your system. I don't know where the crash was. I think it might have been Vegas. I don't know. But uh, drunk driving is horrible. Drinking is horrible. Alcohol is horrible, in my opinion. It's the devil's drink. You want to fuck up your life and do stupid shit, then get drunk. So, yeah, rugs a third because it's on the screen. Uh, they also took a loaded firearm from his uh, vehicle. I don't know why you got to drive around with a fucking loaded gun. You must be paranoid if you do that. Ruggs III faces a felony charge for death and DUI. You should get felony murder charge for the woman and her dog. Charge them for killing the dog too. A fucking moron. You're a moron if you drunk drive. If you got a alcohol problem, uh, stop fucking drinking. Reach out to someone. Get help. Call a hotline. Go to rehab. Just stop. Your life will be better without alcohol. Trust me. Uh, I've had a lot of alcohol, a lot of alcoholics in my family. My dad, my uncle, a lot of people around me have been in alcohol way too much. I'm talking about family members. Two of them are dead. My dad and my uncle have passed because they could not quit alcoholism. They couldn't quit. They were alcoholics. For like one to two decades they were doing it. Anyways, enough about me. I hope you enjoyed my uh, in my alcohol problems in my uh, family in my family history of alcoholism anyways week nine nfl picks in the books hope you enjoyed them like comment share subscribe should be a good sunday and uh i don't know what's the thursday game again no oh, yeah the jets and the colts that's not gonna be very good but it's gonna be a good week nine of games i'm gonna enjoy them bye for now